It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. It is our mission to try to bring you some news that you could use, and today will be no exception to the rule. You can follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Be sure to check out the website at obnradio.com with our 24-hour stream. And for those of you who have a smart speaker, all you have to do is say, hey, play the latest episode of the Mike Prince Show. And just like that, you'll have everything that you need. And with all that being established, let us jump right into today's episode. We are officially 18 days away from the 38th annual Labor Day kickoff between Prairie View and Texas Southern. We are 11 days away from the start of the MEAC SWAC Challenge between Jackson State and South Carolina State. And we are 10 days from the start of the Waller Bulldog taking on Bryan high school football coverage here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are truly excited for our 2023 football coverage here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We have scheduled for your listening pleasures 27 football games between the Waller Bulldogs, the Hempstead Bobcats, the Royal Falcons, and of course, the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. And we are geared up, ready to go with all of our fast-paced action here on Fridays and Saturdays at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And technically, we're not done just yet. We have another ram in the bush that we're working out here at the last moments, trying to make sure that the I's are dotted and the T's across, that we'll make an announcement for you here real, real soon. So be sure to keep in tune with us here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network for the latest breaking updates, news, and reports. Want to let you know, September the 1st through the 4th will be our popcorn sale to help us raise the necessary funding to our, cover our games throughout the course of the fall season. And the entire month of September is our annual listening partnership drive. So you can become a listening partner by going to the website at obnradio.com and submit a donation by clicking on the no donation button at the website. No matter where you're listening from, we need you and whatever you can do is greatly appreciated we do understand there's a challenge and a recession about the land but we do know and understand that people will and have supported the open mic in times past and we're definitely counting and hoping that that will continue for the 2023 campaign we are also getting geared up for the volleyball season, which starts off within the next few days as well. And we are so geared up and excited to hear from our volleyball guru expert, and that is none other than Miss Tamika Newman. She'll be breaking down the volleyball X's and O's throughout the course of the season and the Southwestern Athletic Conference. We'll also be hearing from the newly hired volleyball coach Cherie Lindsay as she gives updates for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. You can truly feel the electricity building up in the atmosphere as we get closer to kickoff for this 2023 campaign and I know I'm on the record for saying the Prairie View would go between 8 and 3 and 7 and 4 and that big game on the Labor Day Classic is the one that's got me concerned the most. But then I began to dive a bit deeper into this schedule that the Panthers have. And I have some concerns, not major concerns, but uh, we could end up possibly going six and five if certain things fall a certain way. And the games that are sticking out the most to me, of course, would be that Abilene Christian game. Now, Abilene Christian was a game that I felt that the Panthers definitely should have won on the road last season. Uh, came down to uh, some last possession mishandlements. But overall, Panthers played a great game. 
and I'm thinking that the Panthers should be able to return the favor at home on September the 9th against Abilene Christian. But when it comes to conference play, I have a very true concern when it comes to Alcorn Southern FAMU. Those are some games that could really, really be tricky for the Panthers, especially in times past, how they've dealt with Alcorn and Southern. We know that the Panthers lost a very close game against Alcorn last year. I believe that was on a Thursday, Friday night, one of those uh, unique situations. And they just got the brakes beat off of them against Southern University. But this is a new year, a new time to adjust and work out the kinks. Now, as we look at it, we do this from a logical perspective. Emotionally, I am tied to Prairie View, despite what Brother Ben thinks or says. However, I do need to be a realist about the situation. Now, the FAMU deal is up in the air because this will be the first time that Prairie View has played FAMU in the new adjusting and acceptance of FAMU to the Southwestern Athletic Conference. So if you just go worst case scenario, let's just say they stumble against FAM, Southern, and Alcorn. That's three L's right there. And then we talk about the Abilene Christian Ball Club. That's four L's. And then SMU, that would be five. So if we're not careful, was potentially an eight and three, and I still believe that the Panthers can go eight and three, could quickly turn to six and five. And let's not fail to mention if we stumble out of the gate against Texas Southern, we're now looking at potentially a five and six season. And I just bring all that up about the possibilities. We know we have to play all the games. We're not taking anyone for granted. But when you look at this thing, was potentially looking to be a very strong 2023 campaign. Although I know they have the Panthers pick five. I don't think the Panthers will be in that fifth slot at the end of the season when the dust has settled. So it'll be very interesting to see how the Panthers start out the gate and how they keep a pace. I'm still on record for saying that the Panthers will win on opening kickoff against the Texas Southern Tigers. And as the old game show say, and my final answer is that Prairie View will stand at eight and three. Now, will that be enough to win the West? Don't know in particular, but it's going to be very interesting to see how things end up. Now, if the Lord says the same and the creek don't rise, we will definitely look deeper into Jackson State on tomorrow. But as for right now, my time is far spent and I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, reminding you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Hit that bell notification, and that way you'll get everything that we release through our YouTube channel. And for those of you who want a little bit deeper content, all you need to do is go to our website at obnradio.com, click the 24-hour stream link, and that way you'll go deeper to the depths of the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I've got to go. My time is far spent. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. You guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.